so hi my loves welcome back to the channel and if you're new here we don't normally do this a lot of times but today i'm doing this because my subscribers know my phone camera got broken and i have to just you know i still have to create content regardless so that's why we're here and we're doing this voiceover and here we do movie reviews lifestyle vlogs but majorly movie reviews talk about movies a lot so let's just jump right into the video of today guys so we're going to be talking about a sunday affair it's a film by ebony life studios and i'm going to be dissecting everything i think about this movie in this video so if you're interested please do not click out let us just jump right into it so to my regulars you guys know how we do it but for those that do not know, I'm going to tell you what I think about the movie in entirety, like, you know, the story and all of that, what I like and what I didn't like, and my ratings for the movie. So let me start with the story, right? So it is supposed to be, or it is, sorry, it is the story of um, two friends, best friends, who fall in love with a flawed man, right? They call him a flawed bachelor. But in the story, he's not a bachelor, right? So I'm going to take you guys through the entire story and, you know, what it entails. So, yeah, we meet two friends played by Dakore Eguso Akonde and um, Insekwe Etim. They are best friends. They've been best friends since they were kids. And, you know, they've literally done everything together, told each other everything and all of that. So they grow up now, you know. Um, Inse plays Uche. Uche is supposed to be a free-spirited, I don't care woman who relies on sugar daddies and all of that and then the core who plays tony is supposed to be the much more i don't know sensible one she she's practical with her life or that's what they expect us to believe right so yeah that's what both of them are about and then there is this guy who is actually a married man right he's gonna get divorced he's not divorced but he's going to be getting divorced like he said in the film and you know he has a wife and kid but they meet right they meet at um he says younger sister's wedding uche around uche so oris plays sunday oris is the guy that plays oris i don't know how to pronounce his surname guys but yeah he plays sunday in the film so um uche and sunday meet on the first the first time they meet they actually have a thing together right it is the wedding of um, uche's sister and sunday happens to be the brother of the groom uche and sunday's love story takes on i don't know if it is a love story or they were just you know sexual bodies but yeah whatever they had to come from there toy and sunday meet again so somehow their own love stories start to progress or whatever she thought was going on and to come from there that goes on and you know that's literally what we watched all through the film right from the beginning to a particular point where something tragic happened which i'm not going to be telling you because i don't want to drop spoilers but yeah that's literally all that there is to this film there is no heightened moment there is there are no lows there are no excitement absolutely nothing right that's just what the movie is <laughs> i'm serious like it's crazy right that's all it is so yeah let's talk about the things i liked about this film so that's gonna be really hard because to be very honest i don't think i liked anything in particular maybe fine dining i don't know you know that could pass for something i would like but yeah aside that <laughs> I cannot actually think of anything else that stood out for me or, you know, that made me enjoy the film. Yeah, just fine dining, you know, nice aesthetics, that's it. So things I did not like about this film. So like I said earlier, there were three major characters in the film. There was Dakore, there was Nsekwe Etim and Oris, right? There was also Alex Deku, but somewhere in this film, you could literally forget that he was in the film. But yeah, he was there too. I don't think they gave me a stellar performance, right? I have seen Insei act better films. I have seen Dakori do better than that. Not much of Oris. Though I do feel like they could give, they could have performed better. Maybe if they had something actually worthwhile to work with, right? Because this film wasn't it. 
so yeah the acting was just below par or it was just basic right the story oh my god the story was terrible it wasn't something interesting it wasn't exciting it was just there guys like i was super angry like what am i watching bro give me something the story wasn't good i didn't like it one thing i must point out i said i must say this thing in my review is the wig the costume guys dakore and Nse wore one wig each throughout this film dakore wore one black curly wig and Nse wore this big curly brown hair all through the film from beginning to end and this movie is supposed to i don't know what the span is but i'm pretty sure it's spanned between a year how do you wear one wig one ah hey Mugbe. i was so angry about that i can't even lie guys i was so angry about that i don't think there was soundtrack you know i don't even i don't remember listening to any soundtrack in this film um the plot progression was oh it was dead i wasn't anticipating anything even the tragic news that happened in the film i'm like what's this i beg you. like i wasn't i wasn't excited about that i wasn't excited about anything i didn't enjoy watching anything in this film to be very honest so that was that i i can't even comment anything like storytelling was blah it was bad cast they were okay but like they could have given them more to work with you know they didn't give them anything they just they just i don't know they just managed to to get through <laughs> i think that's the word to be honest but yeah that's pretty much everything that there is to a sunday affair okay i think i need to point out something that i feel like the the, the people that wrote this script wanted to portray women as you know desperate because this will be a little spoiler for those that have not seen it because for someone like tony right we saw her to be somebody that had values you know she had values that upheld her uh, she was she was supposed to be the smart one she was supposed to be the one that you know made the right decisions right and then we find okay i'm not gonna give you spoilers then then you know she finds out about a friend and a supposed lover and she just lets it slide and she just say oh i know you guys fell in love i just wanted to have it ah uh i'm -uh. telling them live happily ever after blah 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 i'm looking like are you dumb sis like you're supposed to be the smart one why are you not using your brain at what point is there a realization for both of them nobody had a moment of realization nothing the selfish man that was supposed to be, that is a married man because he never actually got divorced throughout the course of this film he was just you know chopping here chopping there there was no background story to each of these characters we know about Inse and um the Korea being friends since they were kids but what else Inse is selling art but we don't like we don't see so much about our life like we don't see anything about these people it's just basic and then this one leaving money for this one one mysterious man just comes out of nowhere offers money off to like i beg i was so angry guys and i don't understand when you are releasing a movie that you expect to be valentine themed which is love themed we expect that to a reasonable extent you know it has love in the air this movie did not have love in the air not in the slightest way it was just there right and it was so annoying like how do you expect me to watch this and expect that i would enjoy this as a love themed movie this movie reeked of annoyance i am being honest with you 100 percent so yeah that is all i have to say about a sunday affair the title was just as blur as the story in itself if you've seen it you have a thing or two to say to me please do that in the comment section i want to know what you think about the sunday affair if you like my voiceover my first voiceover tell me in the comment section i want to read from you and yeah please do subscribe if you have not and i am gonna see you guys in my next video i love you so much and bye